the board. So all you do is clamp the jig on, drill your first hole. After you set it, set your jig up to the material thickness that you're uh, drilling. Then just move the jig to the other side. Drill another hole. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do that to all of these boards. We just lay it out, screw them in, and we have a door. The jig comes with this little case too. Um, comes with the drill bit with the collar, a uh, long square drive drill bit, and then the Allen wrench to adjust the collar on, on the drill bit, <clears throat> and also the clamp and the jig itself. So you adjust the collar based on the thickness of your material and you adjust the these little legs here that rest on the edge of the board to the thickness of your material as well. And then the screws, there are these little pocket screws, the square drive. And again, this is based, the length of these are based on the thickness of your material. So you just Put it together like this. I actually measured the length of this board and then divided it in half. Also marked center on this board so I can line those up, make sure I get this board right in the center.
in there. We have a door. And it's really nice and sturdy. And I can't flex, bend, twist, nothing. That's why I really like those pocket hole screws for doors. It makes a really nice, strong door and it goes together pretty quick. All right, so now I'm just gonna take these clamps, clamp this door in position to where I want it to be. Gonna make the gap even all the way around. Clamp it down. All right, then we have a door. I like it. All right, now I just install a handle and we're good to go. To keep the door closed and we're good to go. Now we just need to, so now I just need a hook latch um, to keep the door closed and secure. Or you could use a slide bolt too. So first thing we gotta do is mark center on the conduit. We have five conduits that we're going to be bending. So I'm going to mark the first one, and they're 10 feet long. So five feet is center. And then I'm going to lay the other ones out next to it, mark them like that. Okay, to mark these conduit, because this is half inch conduit, I just looked it up. You gotta mark five inches from center, which is your take up, they call it. So, I'm gonna mark, so 60 inches is here, five inches, so one, two, three, four, five. So somewhere in there. And then you line your, the arrow on your bender, so this is line, lined up with your take up mark. And I'm just gonna make a little mark like that so I know that's my take up. Stick it in your bender, line that arrow up with that mark. Like that, and then bend. Bend until it stops. Just right there. <clears throat> yeah, that worked. So now this is your center line. Nice. Three more of those. All right, so the next step is you have to make this jig. I just took some scrap two by fours and screwed them together and it makes this channel this is about the width of the conduit here book tells you how to do this and then what you can do is you can just take your conduit put it in the jig so that it doesn't spin on you and i prop it up against something so it doesn't tip over so like that, 
And then I found that if you measure five inches from here and put your bender, the hook of the bender, line the outside edge of it up with that mark, that it gets you the right length that you need <clears throat> for your stub end. And this is gonna be bent at 45 degrees. So just get on the bender, bend it. There's a, there's a line on the bender, and I'll show you that here, that you bend the 45 degrees to. <laughs> So here's 45 degrees right there. So just bend it until that line is parallel to the ground. Turn it around to the other end. Five inches from the end. Line the bender up with that mark. So the outside of the bender hook to that mark, bend your angle, and you're, you have a roof hoop. Now you just gotta set it up there, drill some holes, and screw it to the tractor. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these get them screwed in and I'll be back. Okay, so now we just need to drill some holes into the conduit and then put screws in here. I'm using a 7 30 seconds drill bit. And the book shows you what screws you need to get, what size. All right, so you need somebody to help you hold it here while you do this part. And then we can just put this ridge pole up. Let's crisscross some tie wraps here. <clears throat> All right, so now that we have the ridge pole, we can just kind of rest these other ones on there and we don't need any another hand to hold it. And then put these right in the center of these side supports. Now then, uh, giving it about an inch above the bottom of this two by four. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so now we have all of our hoops up and we have our tie wraps tying them to the ridge pole. Now we can put our chicken wire over the top and tie wrap that to the pole as well, each pole. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this over the top like it is and then staple it using a pneumatic stapler to the side. I'm 
gonna go ahead and pull it as tight as I can over the top here, down on this side, and staple it on this side. Now we'll just cut this off with a tin snip. Take this tin snip and cut it off. Okay, so now I have the top done. So I just ran a piece over this end, a piece over the front, and then one over the middle to, to finish it off. And then I'm just running this sideways. So the four foot way here over the end. And then I'll, I'll make a couple pieces for the front and the door will be hardware cloth. And then we gotta put hardware cloth around the bottom. So now what we have to do is we have to take the tie wraps and start tie wrapping around the, the conduit. So we're going to have a bunch of these tie wraps holding this down. So we're just going to go around and put these on every 8, 10 inches or so. on each of these poles and then we'll cut these tags off later. Okay so now we have to go around and staple this hardware cloth around the bottom that the pulley and clothes close it. We have all of our chicken wire on, we have all of our wire ties on. We just have to go back and cut these off later. Um, but to fully get this enclosed but we gotta staple this around the bottom. Okay, so now we have to install these gussets in the corners to kind of strengthen everything up front. And when you go to pick it up, it's going to want to kind of squeeze together. So this will help strengthen the corners. And we'll put one of these in each corner. Okay, so now we have to drill a hole for the wheel on each side in the back. And we got to drill it three quarter inches in here. Or one and three quarter, I should say. And then one and three quarter down. Right there. So we gotta take this plate, cut it in two, and then we're gonna screw that on here. Kind of keep it from wearing the hole too much.
Just like that. So then we can just take, <clears throat> the wheels will be removed once you get it in place. This is just to be able to, to move it around. <clears throat> you know, to get a, we have to move them every day to a new pasture spot. So you'll just put this on there like that and then move it and then take the wheels off. So now we just gotta do the other side. Okay, so now we're around on the front side of the chicken tractor where the door is. We gotta put a rope in here, so we're gonna drill another hole. So this nylon rope tends to fray on the end, so I'm gonna go ahead and burn that, melt it a little bit. So, and then stick it through the hole. And the book lists like three different knots, specialty knots. All right, to tie the tot, to tie the tot line hitch again, so we just bring the rope over the top, and then back under, create a loop. I'm gonna move it closer to my end here, and then back under again. Create a second loop. So now we got the two loops. Then we're going to bring it down and over the top, under, Just trying to get this tighter here. So not so much slack so and then back through that and pull it tight just like that there we go so now you got that tight there so, we're, so on this end we're going to tie a bowline knot the bowline knot is going to be an anchor knot a loop like that Run it down, pat, uh, under, over, and then through. And I'll move the knot all the way down, kind of towards the end, pull it tight, and then that way it can't pull through the hole. Now our other side is where we'll be able to adjust it. That's the top line knot that we tied in the other side. All right, so now that we have our, have both ends tied off, what you wanna do is, this should be adjusted so when you bend your knees and then you just stand up, you should be able to lift the tractor up to move it. So that's, that's perfect for me. Okay, so it's been several days and I was able to get the tractor finished. Um, I didn't get any recording of it, but it's pretty simple. Um, it's just a matter of putting the tarp over the top and screwing it down on the sides and putting a few putting a few of these zip ties to the conduit pipe. 
<clears throat> we did get our chickens in already or our meat chicks so they are in there i did create a, a little partition inside here to kind of make it into a brooder for now until they get big enough to put on pasture but basically i just create put some boards across about the center of it um and and made a small brooder on the back and put some heat lamps and stuff in there I'm trying to keep some of the heat in here because it's a little cold here still so like i say basically you take and you put these screws with a washer on them through the grommet holes of the tarp across both sides so here's what it looks like in there set up as a brooder see so all the little chicks in there doing really well we've had them now for i think three days it's been so they're doing well we got 50 of them two of them did die the first night so um but we haven't lost any since so as you can see today it's quite different from the time when we first started the video when we had snow on, on the ground and it was snowing and cold today is a little windy but and a little chilly but sunny and it, all in all pretty nice day I want to thank everybody for watching this video and all of our other videos um, and, and I want to thank all of the subscribers because we really do appreciate appreciate each and every one of you um, so please if you haven't already subscribed please hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up it really does help the channel and we hope that you will follow along with us learn with us laugh with us and most of all love this way of life with us because if we can do it so can you Goodbye for now. You can put the hinges on upside down. Don't do that. All right, we can take the clamps off. And we have a sticking door. And I think I'm going to do it from the inside. Nope. <laughs> um, it's just a matter of putting the tarp over the top and screwing it down on the sides and putting a few and putting a few of these zip ties to the conduit conduit posts pull, conduit pipe conduit pipe. So as you can see, we no longer have snow. At the beginning of the first video, we had snow. Now we don't have all this. It's now it is warmed up, and all the snow is gone. So it's a beautiful day today. But I want to thank everybody for watching. Um, it really does help the channel out. Um, please subscribe. Um, hit the thumbs up. It, like again, like I said, it, it does really help the. the 